Hi, Nancy. Hi, Holly. I'm just getting my phone set up here. I've got my new glasses, but I haven't had my contact lens exam yet, so I can't really see the screen. But I need my readers. Hi, Peggy. I need my readers to um, see what I'm doing. <laughs> so, hi, Gail. So, let me see. I got my phone here hooked to my little game board easel. Woo, 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 woo. All right, ladies, what is going on? How is everybody? I don't know why this idea, well, I guess I do know why this idea popped in my head. <clears throat> Several years ago, I was all about, you know, doing some bracelets with uh, napkins and decoupaging or I guess I don't know if that's the right term anymore. And um, I had these extra blanks sitting in my supply area so i thought oh let me do let me do a couple of these let's see what's what so this is one that i did this one i stamped and i have another one i should have brought that one out but it's in the bedroom um that i did um with some safari paper that turned out kind of cute so I had these blanks. Oh, where's the other? <clears throat> this one. I'm notorious for not finishing some things. It just depends. Oh, there it is. This one is finished, except I didn't seal it. But this is a stretchy band bracelet. And what I do is just take a napkin apart. And just put on the little pieces of napkin that I wanted. And I guess this is triple thick on the top, but see, I didn't do the inside. So this still has to be finished. So I don't have any bands like this that fit me, but that doesn't really matter. I have this thinner one, but see, this is for a smaller person. And I thought these would be cool too, because it's just like a clip on, but man, they're hard to, they're hard to get on. Unless you got a skinny wrist, and then it just twists around. But they are fun to decorate with, and I do, I do wear. I have I have one like this, that's got the safari. You know what? While people are coming in, I'm going to go get it because that one is really cool. I'll sh I'll show you. Hold on, I'll be back in just a few minutes. <clears throat> Not prepared as usual. Okay. Let me show you this one. This one's a little more fiddly to make. Because I did it with scrapbook paper, which doesn't bend as easily, of course, as napkin. So I had to cut it in real thin strips so I could get it to bend around the bracelet. If you look really close, you can see where I've got little gaps. And then I put the triple thick in and then I decided to paint it black inside and I just wrote draft, which was really not easy to do. You can see it's not written very well. <laughs> You know, this one I can get on. But see, it does twirl around, which really doesn't bother me, but I like that one too. So, 
I just thought I'd mess around with these today. I'm going to use napkins, I believe, unless some other thought comes to mind. And I have these two little blanks pulled out. Now, I did base coat these. I thought these were all not painted yet, but so I did start. I might change a few things there. This one, I have an idea what I want to put on it, but I don't want these colors. See, I stained that. This one I stained, didn't paint it. So we'll just see where where I where we go. Now the other thing is you can buy these plastic. I have plastic ones that I've done. You if you go to um, like a Goodwill, and you might be able to find wood ones too. But at Goodwill, I have found plastic, and you might even have it. See, like here's a plastic band. You could do the same thing. I don't see why you couldn't, right? And this, you can see inside, there they were several little plastic bangles. And I glued them all together and then put a coat of, I believe, um, well, that's a tight fit. <clears throat> I think I put um, gesso on this. And if you want to try and not spend any money because you don't know how it's going to turn out, you can, um, gosh, you can just use the inside of, of like a duct tape roll or a packing tape. Now, it looks different, but it but you really could wear that, right? And you could cover it. Okay, Gail. So that's an idea for you, too. And I haven't done these either. At Goodwill, you can always pick up. napkin rings and decorate those too you know it would be really cute if we ever get back to where you can have folks in and have a picnic or a little luncheon and you want to do something special for your friends decorate the table you know you could do a little napkin ring okay so what i'm basically saying girls if it's not moving you can decoupage it okay just saying. All right. Enough of that silliness. Okay. So what I think I want to do is I'm going to pick out my napkins. Now I did get some new napkins and I will say that Keisha's Market is this coming weekend. Now I will have some of these available. But I'm not quite sure like what I want to put maybe on this bracelet. This one I know what I want to do with. The plastic, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many I'll get to here. Um, okay, so sunflowers are always good, right? If I keep this one, I could keep that stained inside and do the sunflower. It might not be... Um, it may not be small enough. Because, see, I would want some of that lettering on there, too. I just have to find the best spot. Well, that's a possibility. That wasn't one I was thinking of, though. See, and I think they're too large to cut them, cut them out and stick them on. So let's see what else I got here. See, these are my newer ones. I didn't feel like pulling out my older stash of napkins, which probably would have been a better idea. That might be a little too dense. Hmm. <laughs> Butterflies are cute, but that again. You have to decide like what you would really actually wear, what you would want to wear. 
not going to do this is see this is what I was thinking for the bigger cuff this one Actually, that might not be bad for this one either because I could cut out little the little flowers so I haven't done this in a while either so there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve I believe again relearning what I did uh, the shells kind of cute Oh, these are my older napkins. Um, see, now this might be a cute one because it's got all these little shells. They might fit on this one. Just, um, you know what, let me take this one apart. I always resist getting a piece of tape and pulling them apart. It's like a personal challenge to see if I can actually get it. Oh my, I'm a weird chick, I gotta tell you. Weird, weird chick. See, I can see that that's starting to separate. I was working on other things this morning, and I was using my brayer, and I just noticed I've got speckles all over my thumb. Kind of looks cute. All right, let's see. These might be a little too large for that spot. I'm just gonna tear this one image. See if I can make it work. You know, I have a, um, I think it'll be too dark, though. This one I stained a, a teal. And I'm not sure that's going to show up. You know how Dee Dee says if you put the napkin on a darker surface, which you can, but you're not going to see it, you know, it, it's going to dull it down. It's not going to be as bright. But I'm wondering... That might work. Hmm. I got this other shell. Of course, I could get those other, the seaweedy looking. Ah! Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to tell what the image is. I think that's just a little, a little too large. All right, so I'm going to put that one aside. This one I'm definitely going to use. And I think there's some stuff in there I can use. All right, so I think the first thing that I want to do, so I have time for it to dry, I'm going to take some, just some acrylic paint, a lighter color. Let me just do, I think I might just do white. And uh, I think I might just brush a little bit of white on the top of this piece to add a little brightness so that the napkin maybe will show up a little better. 
so what's everybody else up to today is everybody been house cleaning or relaxing or we were going to take a ride to see ron's aunt and uncle which we haven't been able to see them for a while hey marlo marlo good morning actually it's good afternoon here it's still morning where you are but I have an eye appointment on Tuesday, and the message said that if I'm out of state at all, they need to know. I just don't want to cancel this appointment again, so we're going to have to wait for the visit. Okay, so I don't want to really do a solid coat of white. I think I want like, a, at least let's just try it. I'm going to just... Um, Just put a little brush of color. Well, not really color, of some white, just to brighten that a little bit. Take some of the the yellow away. I need one of those. Oh, that's a little too much. I need one of those um, things they put in between your toes at the nail salon. <laughs> oh, my little tiles apart okay Sharon working working I think this will help the color that I stained it I mean it really does work with those choices I picked out as far as the napkins but I want the sunflowers to really pop if at all possible now when I made those bracelets years ago I uh, I'm pretty sure I used triple thick to coat them and I had a hard time using that it dried and got lumpy and I couldn't get an even coat on it. It was it was not easy to use. And of late, I've been messing around with um, some resin. So I'm wondering if a coat of resin on top, how that would look. That probably would make it look really, um, really cool. You know, like a tile, especially for this style bracelet and I bought these blanks they call them bracelet blanks I believe got them online all right so I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to put a coat of white on this one because I want my little flower napkin to really pop on this one. Now the gal that I watched, I believe her name, um, I did, watched her years ago. Her name was, um, her YouTube name is, um, I think Patio Elf, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't look that up. And she decoupaged on, oh my gosh, so many different things. So once I get this on, I'm going to let that dry and then I'll fuss with my napkins. Now I always, uh, it's like... You know, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. I always try to do more than what is, you know, reasonable to um, do and achieve. So I'm just going to prep these two bracelet blanks. That stain kind of, and you're probably really not going to see that once I get the napkin wrapped on there. 
and I guess I was talking about doing this on one of my other videos or streams that my neighbor my my 92 year old neighbor at the time she was she was a young and she was only I think 86 and we were doing the napkins like the um oh Sharon you probably didn't see this I was showing them the gals this I did this one I stamped it and then um that's color pencil or what I put in there and then sealed it and then this one was done with um, scrapbook paper but Betty and I my neighbor we were cutting strips of paper to, to make a pattern and to get it all to line up and then I told her no sneezing or something we got giggling and we blew all the napkin pieces all all, all over and we couldn't <laughs> we couldn't get them in the right order again so we had to start over Just a couple of giggly girls. Now, the other thing you can do, and I haven't done this yet, but I, you know, it's on my list to try, is to put your own pattern on here and just paint it. You know, like... um. You could do a Zentangle type of design or a Mandela type of design. You could probably use paint markers, you know, and then seal it. Probably, you know, polyurethane or stuff like, you know, something like that to really give it a nice finish. Okay, and of course, you know, we all know that that acrylic paint doesn't take long to dry. So I'm going to put these other bangles out of the out of the way here for a moment. And put my brush in some water. All right, so let me do the, um, I think I want to use this napkin for the elastic bracelet. So I'm going to take it apart like you normally would for a decoupage, I mean a uh, collage type project. Sharon Marlowe, you're going to make me cry. Thank you so much. Girls have been working hard. Sharon's been working especially hard, leaving my videos run so that I would get monetized thank you thank you sweetie mm. now I can't see my napkin my eyes are all blurry some of these look like they are only going to be two ply but they're actually three Oh, I just saw a little dragonfly on here. Oh, I wonder if he'll fit on one of the little squares. Now, I'm going to cut this. I believe I'm, I'm just going to cut what I want to use. Sarah Marlowe. <sighs> Crazy woman. Thank you. I'm going to use the second back of my napkin here for a for the vapors. Oh, that looks pretty cool. The second the second napkin layer is usually pretty cool. Okay, so I've got butterflies. There's one little oh, two little dragonflies. And the reason I think well, they're small. Let me see if I put this on this way. See, because I'm going to sand this. Yes, you are, girlfriend. <laughs> uh, yes, you are the first. Once you get this situated on here, situated on here, and if you make it a little larger and you, you've got it drying, then you can take an emery board or a file 
and um, sand that off nicely. But see the little dragonfly. I might have to. I don't want the edges for him to be real. Uh, real straight. Well, maybe I should just. I love you too, Sharon. Thank you. All right. So let me. Let me just do it this way to be on the safe side. Well, I should grab a water brush. Do I have one here? I do. I do. Okay. Let me use this water brush. To get some of this napkin apart and lay out this. All right, so if I get this little dragonfly out, all right, so I was in somebody's stream. It might, it probably was Janet Nash, and there was a, a gal there from Norway. We got chatting, and she was saying it was hard to get supplies, and her budget is small. Anyway, to make a long story short, um, I was able to connect with her. I put some happy mail in the mail for her today. I'm so excited. I hope she likes it. She, when I when I um, asked for her contact information, um, she sent a little note and was explaining that she had. I guess her mother was from Iceland and um, her dad, Norway. And so she lived most of her life in Iceland, but then had moved to Norway and has lived most of her life as a farmer's wife. And then her, her husband passed about five years ago. And so she's on a very tight budget. She just sounds so, so stinking adorable. So I hope she gets this, hope this package makes it to her. If you think of her, her name, um, she calls herself Frida, F-R-I-D-A. And if you think of her, just pray that my package gets there because I really want her to be blessed. Okay, so I only have two, two little um, dragonflies. Hey, Roy, hi. Nice to see you. I'm going to decorate some bracelets with napkins. These are bracelet blanks that I've had in my supply stash for quite a few years. Of course, I could get another one of these napkins and get another dragonfly, but I think two will be fine. But I want to make sure. I want the edges of this to be uh, not straight because it's smaller than that area that I'm putting it on. Uh. Okay. Oh, that's what Sharon's been doing. I never really cared for garden work. I like to look at the garden. I like vegetables from the garden. But I'm not a... I'm not a dig in the dirt person. I have a sister who absolutely loves being outside and being in the dirt. My husband's the same way. But even if I was going to do that, my gardening days are over. My husband was so thrilled. We um, had some furniture out for the trash and, you know, folks come by and pick up all kinds of stuff. Well, they took um, our end tables and left this piece of trash. He was so excited. Here it was one of those units that has handles on it. 
and a and a pad where he can kneel on it and then use the handles to to help himself stand up. And then if you flip it the other way, it's a seat where you can sit on it and and weed or whatever you wanted to do in the garden. So it had a little bend in it, but he was able to straighten that out. Well, my goodness, it was like Christmas. He was so excited. I think there's probably a better way to do this. I'm trying not to tear all the um, other sunflowers so I can use them for something else. You know, like in a book or on a cover. I just want these smaller ones. <laughs> yes, I get that for sure. All right, so let's see. Yeah, so that kind of looked cute. I guess some... Um, because there's an odd number of, I got six, six, so there's an odd number. All right, so let me get this sunflower. And I guess I could grab a butterfly. Let's see how butterfly looks. So that's four, four things. I'll take this. I like this one down here. This sunflower is a little different looking than the other ones. So let me grab this one. I watched a girl a couple of times working with fiber on YouTube. And I hate to say it. Well, I wouldn't... I, I don't remember her name, but even if I did, I wouldn't say it. But her hands always look dirty. And she was working with, you know, with wool. And I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't continue to watch. It really was disturbing. It was disturbing. I mean, if you've got paint and that's the kind of project you're doing, I don't think that's so bad. But if you're working with fiber or wool or fabric or anything, it's distracting. <laughs> Okay, this one down here is a little different. So we've got two, four, five, six. And this is not really the best butterfly here, but I think it'll do. But I'm thinking you could doodle, right? You could doodle on um, these blanks. You could do it with a brush or you could... Um, like a paint marker. I guess you could do that. <laughs> I'll bet, Roy. Our son went to school, went to a high school that he, he learned how to be, well, I'll say at the time, he learned how to be an auto mechanic. Never worked in that field, but we tried to talk him out of it because for years he couldn't stand his hands being dirty. And we kept saying to him, you know, your, your hands are going to be dirty all the time. But he ended up not working in that field anyway. There was no talking to him, though. He had to do the mechanics. All right, so there we have a little butterfly. Okay. So I'm going to get my... Uh, okay, my golden matte medium I put in a little... 
I had a little jug of it somewhere. Oh, gosh, I forgot. See, silly me, I wasn't paying attention the other day. I thought I had golden matte medium. And what I did was I filled up my golden matte medium container with Mod Podge. Not good. Not good. Okay, I'm trying to grab it here. See, I for keep forgetting I have it. Don't have it in that original container of mine. And I forgot to get it down. So let me grab that. And I'm going to put some in a little. I need to empty out another. Um, dish soap container. I do like that. That was. That's. Um, Dee Dee's. Um, recommendation. So you can just squirt the medium out. And I do like that. And I have this little container I'm going to put some in. Because I don't want to work out of the big jug. Do you plant vegetables too, Roy? Or do you just do uh, flowers or combo? Last year, we didn't do any vegetables, just flowers. Whoop. Yeah, even before my dad passed, he, was, he said the same thing about cars and working on cars and motors. He used to enjoy that, but... Towards the end of his life, he really couldn't do it because they had changed so much. All right. All right, so I've got my golden. And I'm just going to start. I want to grab a nice, soft brush. Oh, let's see. Something on the smaller side, I think, for my size space I'm working in. Probably could use a little larger, but this is handy, so I'm just going to grab this one. Now, I'm not going to worry so much about, um, a lot of times I'll use a piece of plastic wrap. And... Um, to smooth out the image and I'll do that when I work on this bracelet but for this in the little squares I'm just going to paint my medium on and put my little lots of veggies a very small plot oh nice yeah I like to have tomatoes and green peppers but I'm the only one that eats them so we didn't do it last year all right, I'm going to get my butterfly on. Now, I'm not worried about the image sticking off the sides because, like I said, I'm going to sand those. So I'm just painting that down, you know, putting the uh, medium on top. Now, in order to give that, hey, Judy, nice to see you. Time to dry. I'm going to skip and go to um, the next square over so I'm not messing around. And I want to think about, I think that's where I want to put my dragonfly. And I want to make sure... I'm going in the right direction. I have a tendency of flipping things around and then stuff ends up upside down. And then I have really great girlfriends that say, oh, it's okay. It's art. It can be upside down. And you know, they're thinking to themselves, oh, she did it again. She did it again.
All right, so now I'm going to go over here and put my other little dragonfly on. I'll put him this way. Now, you probably can't notice, maybe you do, on my brush, whatever I stained that with many years ago, which is probably some kind of stamp ink, I, guess, I would imagine. The uh, Mod Podge is picking that up a little bit. Which is okay. Really? Really? Cactus pizza is a real thing? Oh, I'm sheltered. All right. So now I have to pick and choose. So I want these different... If at all possible, I don't want the same flower next to each other. Now, of course, it, you know, if you wanted to get more involved and fuss, you can come in and paint the edges of these little squares if you had a bracelet like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, something that Joyce's. Okay. And I don't want to put any of this down in between the squares because I don't want them to stick to each other. All right, so I don't want to stick that down per se either. Hi, Jean. Jean's in Florida. I hope you're having a good time. So you head back home, what, later today or tomorrow? Girls, I don't know if you remember, Jean and her husband, we play pinochle with them usually once a week. Okay, let's see. And you don't have to be telling her any crazy stories because she knows, she knows how weird I am. So you don't have to rat me out. Okay, I'm going to put this last little. Sunflower here. I think that's going to, this is going to look pretty cute. All right. Let me do my last square. Yeah, I don't know. Jean probably does have stories. Although, if we were going to tell stories, our girlfriend Paulette, she's the one with the story. She's, she's the one that's a hoot, our dear friend Paulette. Oh, my gosh, she is a scream. Okay, so there we have that. 
So that doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to let that dry. All right. Now, I'm going to work on this one. And this one, I want to put those little wildflowers on. So I'm going to grab that napkin. Now, you don't have to use a napkin. You can use, like I said, the um, safari bracelet. I used um, scrapbook paper. You could use wrapping paper, you know. Or if you see some paper somewhere that you like, and you think it's a really cool pattern, I'm sure you could use it all right so I'm taking my napkin apart and then I have to decide how I want it to lay out on my bracelet Now these, whoop, I think I just put my napkin in there. Now I'm thinking this is going to work because I just love this napkin and I want it to work. But the flowers are a little larger. So I just want to find what part of the napkin I want to use. See, these are cute down here, but you know how on a napkin it's got the, where they press it together so it stays together and it's got all these little waffly like holes. I'm just wondering you know, if that's going to show up. I don't really want that. But that might look cute. Alright, what do I want for my center? I kind of like this flower. Holly Dalton, thank you. You girls. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, there's like a little puff ball there. There's a little puff, like a little dandelion. Look, there's another dragonfly. Oh. Maybe I can get him on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tear this in half. And then I'm going to tear the napkin in pieces because I want it to be able to lay on nicely and not have a lot of folds or creases. So by that, I mean if I have it this way and I want to glue it down, um, I'm setting myself up for a lot of folds but if i piece it tiny bubbles in the water something like that All right, I think I'm just going to go for it. I mean, it's just a bracelet. All right, so I'm going to just tear this one here in half. And then, oh, I like that green leaf. I really want these two flowers, so I'm going to tear it in half again. Well, it's not really in half. I tore that. Um, okay, so this is a pretty good size. I still have it. Still, is going to be difficult. I think I haven't done. See how, like, when you pull it down, see how you're going to have that, like, a little tent. So I'm going to go ahead and make that even smaller. Still, I'm going to tear it in between those two flowers. So I'm going to work in sections. And because this isn't really like 
I mean, there's a pattern, but I don't really care so much about the pattern. I'm not going to worry about keeping the pieces uh, in order. Bye, Jean. Love you, honey. Be careful. Coming home. Dorcas is here. Hi, Dorcas. Nice to see you. So I'm going to put it on like this. And I'm going to get a piece of plastic wrap. I'm going to have a couple pieces of plastic wrap. I stole this out of the kitchen. Don't tell Ron. And I want to keep my pieces fairly small because the bracelet's small. But this is going to help me have a pretty good um, lay down of, of napkin, I believe. So, until you get used to what you're doing... Alright, so I've got my piece of plastic wrap ready. And I want this flower in the center. So I'm just going to paint on my medium. I'm going to be fairly generous and I want to get that edge as well. Am I in frame? Okay. Yeah, see, I got some yellow coming off from that stain, but that's okay. So I'm going to lay my napkin where I want it. And then I'm going to put my piece of plastic wrap down. And I'm just going to tug on the plastic wrap, which helps me. Adjust the napkin and smooth it out. It's not going to be perfect. I think you have to. <laughs> I don't know if you see anything interesting. You know me. I'll take it. Now, I do have some wrinkles in there. I have a really big wrinkle right there. All right. And I didn't get any product there, so I'm just going to add some. This side I didn't, I did too, I didn't do too bad this side. Ooh. Should have had something to, uh... <laughs> yes, I don't want to talk about the wrinkles on the face. All right, I think this one was next, but. All right, so I'm just going to lay this down, maybe overlap, try to, you know, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to make myself crazy. You can make yourself crazy. Or if you have a pattern or paper that you want to line up, I would suggest smaller pieces and then lay your paper out in the pattern that you want it and that you need to pick it up in and then just go from there but i'm not going to be too terribly fiddly as i you know try to fiddle with this and then i'm going to put my plastic wrap down again i'm using the same piece
Now she kind of, and by she I'm meaning um, the patio elf. She really stretched her plastic wrap. Like she pulled it like this and really was able to stretch it and get a nice nice coverage and a nice lay down of her paper. I think I'm a little too chinchy with the matte medium. But I would say you probably could even do this with, um, you know, magazine images. You know, sometimes you just see something that you really like. And I think you could use almost anything. Fabric. Why couldn't you? Why couldn't you use fabric? Right? Okay. All right. I'm liking this. See, now I'm coming along that edge where it's got that waffly pattern. So I'm not too sure. I don't think I would mind that in a, on a journal page, but I'm not sure I want to chance that on my bracelet. Although that's this is where all the cool design is, on the edge. I don't want two flowers the same. And that's going to be right... Oh, Philly. Oh, pilly filly. Well, that's the problem, I guess, with a small napkin. I really like that green leaf. Let me see. I'm going to tear it right here. I'm going to go right along the edge so there's not so much of that pressed area. Just a little bit. Maybe that'll smooth out. Okay. So I'm going to put more of my medium on. I don't know if anybody ever used to do ceramics or where you would glaze ceramics. I had a hard time glazing properly because, oh, pooey. Okay, Roy, don't work too hard. Take it easy. And uh, was not liberal enough with the glaze that you had to put on your ceramic pieces. And I still have a hard time lumping it and gumping it on even when it comes to paint and glue all right so i want this to be here I'm going to stretch this down. Now the plastic wrap, when she was, she was also um, putting napkin on like a wicker bag, wicker basket. You know how they do? And then she could really stretch it and pull it into the little crevices of a basket. And you don't have to do this like right all at the same time. Like you could put a piece on and leave it 
and come back to it if you wanted to. Don't get too touch happy. That's what I do. And then I end up tearing it. You know, just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it be. All right. Now I got to find what I want for the two ends. Thanks, Holly. Um, I think I'm going to take this piece I'm going to put it on this end Let's see if I can get that to go all the way to the end Just wondering how it would do on the plastic, how well it would stick on that plastic bangle. Nope. So I guess I didn't get enough to come through. Like usually if it comes through the napkin's porous your your um medium comes through and it kind of ah sticks just a little bit you know here we go you want to be careful because you don't want to tear i didn't get that i didn't get that so good kids that's so good. Maybe I could have gotten a new piece of plastic wrap. She also would take it and, and bunch it together like this and then use it to smooth down her edges or whatever. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush on a little more medium. Probably should have gotten a bigger brush for this. Then I'm going to press it down a little bit more with the plastic wrap. Got a few little air bubbles there, it looks like. I try to press that out. All right, I'm going to put this aside and let it sit, dry a little bit before I do that other end. I'm going to sit that one there. I think this daisy one should be yeah that's pretty dry all right so i'm just going to take an emery board i'm going to move this one aside because i don't want the dust to get on that maybe i should put a little cover on it so what i'm going to do here is just come in and try to hold this 
to where I can just come in and sand that extra napkin off. So that's what you, if you're using this kind of a bracelet, that's what you want to do. Or you could probably do tiles or beads before you string them. It's an idea. We're not short of ideas, are we, girls? Oop, just knock that. Now, what I'm thinking while I'm doing this is perhaps I need to spatter it or do I doodle on it? If I doodle, what kind of doodle do I leave it? Oh, I just had another thought. What if I take some stays on and a stamp with some letters with some uh, script and stamp it? Hmm. I like that idea. Now this could probably be a little drier. I mean, it feels pretty dry, but when you sand that, man, it just comes off so nicely. All right. Take off all that excess and even if it looks a little sanded that's okay that looks fine don't get stiff when i hold it in a certain position see look what happened here oh good it didn't glue down there's that extra little piece and there's an extra piece of elastic I want to snip that keeps uh, sticking out like a wild hair wild hair Even using that other glue, that glue, Omer uses it all the time. I don't really know if it's it acts like a glue, but I don't know if it really is the glue. That um, she's always using it. Um, something accents or something like that. Um, Oh, not essential accents, but oh, it's something like that. I think I have an off brand. I don't have the actual brand name. Um, I know, I know one of you certainly knows what I'm talking about. Um, it's like the little glue. It's in a little bottle. Uh, glossy accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks all. So I wonder if I put, I have, you know, I, I don't have that brand, I don't think. If I put that on, of course, you'd have to do a tile at a time. Because the thing with the resin is you have to mix it up and then leave it sit for 10 minutes and then use it. Uh, 
All right, let me see. Oh, I know, I had it out. Let me see if I can grab it here. This looks kind of big, but I don't want real small uh, script. I don't know how much I have. I think I'm going to go with the jet black. I'm thinking I need another one of these so that I can cut this up in pieces. So if I want with a smaller project like this, I have just a small piece that I can use. But sometimes, you know, you want a bigger piece. All right, so I'm going to ink in the center there. I hope I don't ruin it. Maybe I should do it this way. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's what I did, huh? Now I'm going to pull the it's just ever so faint. I don't know. I, I need to break down and buy a re-inker for the stays on. I have the um, Tim Holtz one, but that's not uh, Well, I do have some archival, I guess. I forget where I put this stupid ink. to pay attention to what I'm doing. Dragonfly. That's a little better. Looks cool. Of course, you could take this bracelet apart and re-thread it. But I didn't want to do that. I bought this really cool bracelet. It's got really cool beads. And I needed it just a little bigger. So I wanted to use a little more relaxed uh, elastic. I can't get it back together to look normal. Now I got a gap and oh my gosh. Sometimes you just have to know your limitations. I think that's all that needs, really. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Look, I got that one better. Huh? That looks cool, right? Yeah, 
yeah i think that looks pretty cool all right so we'll let that dry for a few minutes and then come back to this little fella so i need one more piece of napkin that's still really damp here that's really wrinkly there But I guess the wrinkles could be quite some, you know, part of the charm. All right, so I need another section. Let's see. And again, I want to make sure I get my flower going the right way. I think if I put... Maybe right there. See if I have any other little pieces laying around. Oh, here. Yeah, I can use this. I don't want to be wasteful. All right, let's see if that'll work. I'm going to get my little brush. Thanks, Peggy. My gosh, I just splashed a bunch of <laughs> not good. I splashed the medium all down the bottom. I'm just pulling that plastic wrap. You should have probably cut that a little smaller. You can be a little, um, you don't want to be real rough with it, but you don't have to be as gentle as you would if you didn't have uh, the plastic wrap. How could I have not gotten any glue right there? That's just crazy to me. like scuffed up right there napkin looks a little torn we may have to do something about that all right i'm going to get my heat gun cap up my old matte medium get rid of this piece of plastic wrap
why couldn't you do this, say, on a um, domino, right? Or a couple of um, Scrabble tiles. You could even glue them together. And then put them on a uh, put them on a string, put them on a, a necklace, right? Here I've got a little bit that's lifting up. I'm gonna hit that with a little more glue. I think I really would like to put resin on one just to see. Because the resin looks so good on my rocks. I mean, I love the resin. It really gives it a beautiful shine. See, I'm anxious to sand the edges. Oh, have you, Peg? Oh, yeah, furniture. Oh, yeah, furniture. Yeah, I've got some dominoes here I was going to mess around with, but I haven't done that yet. Hmm. I think somebody said, oh, I guess it was Kathy Berg yesterday. Johnny was going to do something with dominoes. Oh, excuse me. I was up all night with Mary, and then I finally fell asleep in my chair. I don't know what time she signed off, but. I'm so nosy. Just going to try to dry these edges so I can get that sanded off. do with my little see if I can that's still kind of wet there yeah you can feel that it's damp when this is really dry it'll pop off really easily when you sand it but you know I'm in a big hurry big hurry to grab it. Oh, I'm pulling the wrong. There we go. Oh, it just looks so nice when it's sanded. on there pretty good. See, and the other thing, too. Oh, was it? Oh, I'll have to go back and look. I know Kathy said she was going to go out maybe get some dominoes because she didn't have any. Now, Nicole, Nicole is, um, oh, you have some um, blanks? Oh, good, Sharon. Um, is Nicole the glue it down girl? Is, is that who Nicole is? Or do I have her mixed up with somebody else?
push that down maybe a little too far, but see, you can sand that off. Yeah, yeah, that's who I was thinking. Relax, cut, and glue. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's who I thought. Okay, thank you, girls. This doesn't look too bad. Now this one I would let dry a little more, but I'm thinking I might like to come back in with um, some kind of a pen and maybe do some, some squiggles or a little bit of outlining or some kind of doodling on there to just kind of take it to the next level. And the napkin doesn't come all the way down, which that's okay too. I can just sand that. Or add another little piece of napkin, but I don't really think that's necessary. I could spatter it too and put some speckles on there. I love spatter. So you get the basic idea. Now, if anybody has an idea or a tr real trick on how to use that uh, triple thick and get it on, you know, where it looks good. I mean, I, I, I can't, I can't get it on properly. Of course, I tend to be really anal about some stuff. Uh, wooden dot. Yeah, the ones, the dominoes I have are on um, plastic. What did they do with them, Nance? Did they, did they decoupage on them or did they paint them? Like, what were they doing with them? Got a little bit of glue down there. I could come back in and paint this really. That is so satisfying to me when you. Oh, you did, Sharon? I just have a hard time like brushing it out without it getting you know, streaky and lumpy, really. I might try glossy. Well, let me see what I have. I have, it's not, I think mine's called diamond something. But I think it's the same stuff, if I can remember where I put it. I think I put it up here. There are like three things of it. Oh, I see it's a little it's a little behind here. Hold on. I think it does the same stuff. Judy Kins Diamond Glaze. I think that's the same stuff, right? As the uh, glossy accent. I should stamp on this too. Get some words. 
the same. Okay, thanks, Peggy. Uh-oh, we could have a change in the weather. Sharon's going to put her glasses on. Okay, so you want to do it a little, if you're going to do this, you want to do a little neater than I did. I kind of misjudged here and got the gold in that medium a little too far down on that ledge on the inside. And that would not bother the most, the average bear, but... And my emery board thing is is old and worn too. You probably could get something that's got a little more of a grit to it. Okay, let's see here. Of dust, a lot of dust. Hmm. I wonder how it would do if I ink this up and I just took this and like rolled it. <laughs> if I rolled it across, if I would ruin it. You know, because it's not, it just, it needs something, I do believe. Oh, thanks, Holly. All right, let's, let's give it a go. I mean, I've had it sitting in a box for years. Like, what does it matter, right? Okay, okay. I'm only going to do part of it. I want to make sure it's the right way, though. Hmm. Not too bad. <laughs> Thanks, Peggy. <laughs> oh. Dude, it's hard to get down here. Well, it's hard to get down there the way I'm doing it. See, I've got a little piece of that. Oh, I'm so tempted to cut that apart. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. I guess most times I only use a little bit. Mm. I don't want to put my big mitt in it and smear it. Mm. I'm notorious for going the wrong direction. A little dyslexic at times. That doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. All right, I'm going to try one more thing before I get out of here. 
because I got I got stuff I got to do, girls. Oh my gosh, I just have, have so many things rolling around in my brain. Okay, so if I want to glossy, if I want to put the glossy stuff on this, and I don't want to sit here and and hold it for three days. It probably sets up pretty fast, right? I think I can probably just squirt this on and like puddle it, like flood it, right? I'm just thinking, what can I put around? I have rubber band. I don't think I want a rubber band. What can I put around? Um... around it to hold that kind of up like oh oh wait a minute girls wait a minute wait a minute hold the phone hold the phone um what if i that's is this too look at there how about that that should work I've had this stuff. I've never used it really, other than a for like a little bit of glue. Which to me, this stuff's expensive to use for glue, right? Oh, see, I'm going to be anxious for that to dry. Now, when you use the... Um, oh, I should have gotten a straw. I don't have a straw here. When you use the resin, they tell you to use a straw and blow out the bubbles. Guess I better go get a stinking straw because just blowing on it's not. Oh, got a drip. I got a drip. See, I'm afraid to hit it with a brush. All right, I'm going to go quick get a straw. Yeah, let it dry good if for sure. I got to build some kind of a contraption so it's not crooked, you know, so it doesn't run. It, it briefly with heat gun remove the. Oh, okay, Peg. Yeah, it's not doing it. Oh, shoot. Now I look like I got more bubbles. Now we really can sing tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles in the water. All right, hold on. I'd be right back. I'd be right back. Note to self, keep straws at the ready. Glasses down. I might have waited too long. Tap the bottom of the bracelet. Oh, look, I made it. <laughs> I'm going to wet. I made it. 
<laughs> it's thunder. Oh, goodness. Okay, right now we have like a sand dune right here. Just blew it up. <laughs> I blew it up and it made a big. <sighs> oh, my stars. Well, I think if you could get the hang of it, you know, this would be good. But there's just some things I'm not good at. I hate admitting that, but. You can see the little tiny bubbles. It's because it started to dry. And then when I blew it, I blew the top. I think it settled down a little bit. Okay, so now the thing is going to be to really let it dry. See this, whatever I put on it, it's not too bad. I just need to do something on the underside. All right, girls, I'm going to get on to my next project. Thanks for hanging out with me. I can't tell if my letters are upside down or right side up. I think right side up. But I'm, I'm happy with that, how that turned out. And I think this other one will look nice too once it dries and I can get a coat of something shiny on it. Oh, I wonder if I put like some Wink of Stella in a couple of spots so it'll have a little bit of sparkle. I love me some sparkle, right? Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so I think that's it for me for, for right now, anyway. I hope somebody else is going to be on a little later. Um, but I've been trying to get some some um, newer things to ready for the market next weekend. Or I guess you could say this weekend, this coming weekend. Yeah, wink it up, baby. I think I need a new wink of still. I think mine's starting to run out. Anyway, we'll have to check that out. And uh, I've got some journals I want to do. i got a video I need to make. You know, it's just, you got that right, Sharon. Never enough bling. All right, ladies. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for chatting. And I'll see you next time on the next video. And don't forget, take time to be creative. Enjoy the journey. See you next time. Bye-bye. Gotta find my little, my little X. X marks the spot with the circle and a dot. Oh, can you, Peggy, you, Peggy, you know so much stuff. You would have start doing like little, um, little clips, little video clips and give us all your little tips. Peggy's tips. All right, chicks. See you soon. Bye-bye.